I've had the same issue. My Battlefield 6 was consistently crashing every single time after a few minutes, sometimes even after 10 minutes. And here's exactly what I did to fix it. So therefore make sure to follow all these steps and as well join the discord.gg slash stripes if you want some help. So for the first fix, what we actually need to do is open up your NVIDIA control panel or AMD Catalyst, which one you guys are using, and then under Manage 3D Settings, you can then see Global and Program Settings on the top. Because what we now need to do is basically select Battlefield 6 as the exit, or as well click onto Add if you cannot find it. It should be here under Recently Used, just simply find Battlefield 6, or you might have to go into Browse and actually find it on your PC, wherever it's installed. And once you're in here, you want to actually now go under Maximum Frame Rate. And here's the thing guys, on my PC currently, with for 4090, I'm running between 3 to 400 FPS. But I actually realized if I have my FPS on uncapped, this was straight up the first method basically fixing crashes for me. I just needed to put it from uncapped to something like 237. The thing is, I'm currently running 240 hertz. Therefore, you can go to something like 240 as an example. Or even if you want to get a little bit less input delay, you can go to 280. I just put 237 because I'm kind of used to, to always putting it because of Unreal Engine games, they sync better. But let's say that you're playing on 240 hertz, you're just gonna lock it to that. And capping my frame rate already fixed all of these stutters for me straight up out of the box. So therefore that's the first method, just simply apply it and you're already good to go for this first step. Next up what we need to do in the official EA app or even Steam as an example, I'm gonna just explain this real quick is go under our profile, go under settings and then you can see application. What you want to do is completely disable all of the in-game notifications and as well as scroll down and disable the in-game overlay. You will see it then, you will no longer receive game invites, EA friends and all of that which is kinda crappy but the in-game overlay actually causes stutter and even crashes for many people which I've already seen on Reddit over there. They were still talking about the beta but the same issue is actually still here in the full release so therefore make sure that you disable the in-game overlay. Then as the next step you want to go into your Windows search bar and search up the game mode settings and what you actually want to do for Battlefield 6 is make sure that you enable the game mode. This one actually runs perfectly fine and for many people this already also fixed having their game crash on them. Then next up you're gonna go under related settings and graphics and here you want to click under the advanced graphics settings and enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. This is as well just a small Windows feature but it can already fix this issue for a lot of people in many games if they're experiencing stutter. It's super important so therefore keep that in mind guys. What you also want to do additionally in graphics straight up is guys you want to search up Battlefield 6. So therefore we're gonna add in desktop app, go under C and then wherever you guys have your Battlefield basically installed, for me it's here, select the X itself open it up and make sure to put GPU preference onto of course high performance. This is the one here on the bottom which you want to take and that way now you only have to restart your PC real quick to apply hardware accelerated GPU scheduling and all of that and then you can test out if it actually fixed it for you. Now for the next step we're actually going to need the MSI Afterburner. Link to it is in the video description. Just simply go into the main website and then you can see they just got a brand new release here. Download it and go through the installation. Many people don't pay attention to this, but your GPU temperature must spike up like crazy in Battlefield 6. And I've seen many people out there on actually Reddit talking about it. They had an insane temperature gain. So what we're actually now going to do is we're going to use the built-in fan curve from MSI Afterburner. So go into your settings and then you can see here fan. Enable user-defined software, automatic fan control and use firmware control mode. That way now you can create a curve similar to mine. This is mine here. If I'm already hitting 50 degrees, I'm using 50% of my fan speed. This here is the fan speed and this is the temperature. If I'm hitting anywhere above 60, it's already going close towards 70% of my fan speed. And if I'm hitting anywhere beyond 75 as an example here, it's already going to 100% because your GPU should theoretically not go above 83, 85 degrees. I know they're marketed as 80 degrees is completely fine, but this might already cause thermal throttling for you guys and actually cause stutter in games. So therefore copy something similar to what I basically made here now. For you you might have four of these nodes where you can just simply click onto one and delete it. I always use free. As mentioned apply this and click under OK and then just simply click here under a small apply button and you're good to go. And of course another very important step many people don't talk about is you should go into your NVIDIA app and of course take a look at the latest drivers guys. You want to make sure that you actually use the NVIDIA app, go under game ready driver, don't do the test drivers and just simply click here under check for updates and then you should see the latest version which just released for Battlefield 6 as you can already see they are highly partnered with them, they're doing a ton of optimizations. You can even see they just fixed something for the latest Battlefield before the last one for GPU crashing. So therefore yeah they're highly working together with Battlefield and you can see version 581.42 
2022 is the latest one, which you should download. It's from the September 30th. This one 100% was made as well in consideration for Battlefield 6. Therefore, go through the installation process there and get the latest version. And if you guys want to know how I basically optimized my Battlefield to run above 360 FPS, I just made a whole entire guide showing you exactly what to apply as well in your NVIDIA Profile Inspector settings, as well as other small tweaks which are going to give you more FPS in Battlefield 6, so feel free to watch that one as well.